Hey guys, happy Wednesday. This is day three of week three of our new program at HWPO. And then here we squat. And so we want the, a different variation of squatting, which is the overhead variation. So um, with this, always do whatever your body tells you. So if it's uncomfortable for you to have your arms overhead, um, we understand that. And so you can just take it from a front squat or a back squat. Or um, if I think avoidance isn't a strategy. So if you just want to go lighter and just kind of like drill it with a PVC pipe, um, that'll be really, really advantageous for you and your athletic development. So with this overhead squat, um, very simply as we do um, back squats, I think um, this is from the ground. So let me go ahead and take this off and let me put this on the ground. So the best way, um, especially as the weight gets heavier, um, you can always snatch it up which is completely fine, but if it's heavy weight in the snatch, kind of gets really inconsistent for most of us. Um, so the way I like to uh, teach this, the most safe and practical way, is we just take this, we clean it to our shoulders, we just go ahead and breath or press it over our head. From here, this allows me to get my hands exactly where I want, and then also my feet set. So now, as I get my feet exactly where I want, I just jump it off the back of my body, straight arms, and then I keep my gaze neutral, knees out, chest tall, down and up. So that'll be the overhead squat, all right? So you guys got several reps of that and several rounds. Once you guys get done with that, you guys are going to a, a squat snatch. So a squat snatch is simply put um, a deadlift with wide arms into an overhead squat. And so that's kind of what we're after, right? Um, if you, also for you, get as low as you can, right? And so if you can't get all the way down, it's completely fine. Just challenge your depth with each rep. But the squat snatch, again, we wanna get set up in this deadlift. Nice wide arms. Overhead squat, stand up, all right? So that'll be your squat snatch. And you guys got several reps of that over several rounds. You guys go for it, have fun. And guys, in the workout portion of today, which is Wednesday, day three of week three, um, we have some dumbbell snatches and some overhead walking lunges. So with the dumbbell snatch, both the ends of the dumbbell has to be on the ground. And then um, it doesn't matter which way your arms face. What matters is that your body's straight and the weight is over the center of your body. So typically, people go here, you can explode. I like this nice stacked position, which is fine. Some people like this position which is fine, right? And so you guys switch that. Once you guys get done with that set number of reps, you guys that go um, uh, overhead lunge, and you guys will walk with this. Um, busy classes, you guys might be asked to stay in place, but in the event, we do want to step forward, right? So from here, right, let me just, I'm walking backwards, but this is a lunge, so we want to walk forward. So nice stack, boom, we reach. Come down, drive up, come down, drive up. And so that'll be your walking lunch, right? You guys to do so many on one side. Let's not be crazy. We want to balance out the other side. So after you guys get done with five or 10 or whatever the number is, you go stack on the other side and then the same thing. It's walking lunch with the weight stacked overhead. You guys have fun with these movements and go get it. Hey guys. Um, a movement that just pops up in the finisher um, that we might need to explain is the windshield wiper, right? Um, the windshield wiper is done um, one or two different ways. It's done on the floor and it's done on the rig. And so um, I think I'll try to demonstrate both. But it's just simply just want to take this nice big loop with the feet together from one side to the other side to the other side to the other side. Um, I believe last week you guys were doing that over a dumbbell. And so um, do the dumbbell, that'd be great. And if you guys need an additional challenge, you guys can find yourself on this pull-up rig and you guys can just kind of hang and do the same thing. So from here, just up and around, control on the way down, up and around. Avoid any excess movement when you guys do that, and then that'll be most beneficial for your core. Guys, have fun with this one. Go get it.